I'm going to say it really sort of depends on how close to your newly uh, new remission is, right? So remission, again, is where your symptoms are, are gone. Um, because again, other than the, the three sort of rare things that I talked about, we're going to get back to like the more common stuff, skin, lungs. So, you know, somebody who has a cough, somebody with shortness of breath, somebody who has some chest tightness, not chest pain, heart, but chest tightness, um, somebody who has a skin rash, disfiguring skin rash, um, you know, things like that. We, we follow the skin rash, the skin rash goes away. Um, now we start to take you off of treatment and, you know, we're able to get you off of the prednisone altogether. The rash doesn't come back, you're in remission. And um, so you're in remission, you can look in the mirror and see that rash, right? And so you can tell when it's coming back. So you don't necessarily have to have your doctor see you for that, right? But if you have, um, if you had lung sarcoid and, and, or, and or lung sarcoid, and you were being treated for that, you might want to be checked you know, only if you had symptoms again, but at least once a year <laughs> and at least once a year again with the CT scan, the breathing tests, the, and maybe I'll get it right this time, the EKG, the blood work and the eye doctor and the urine is the number six. So if you, you know, those you should do every year. Um, and again, for me in my practice, I like to do that for on average five years. Now there are some patients where maybe after two, I might let them let them not continue on with their scans and imaging and stuff and just come back to see me if they have a symptom because they had a skin rash to begin with and that was their that's their like window to sarcoid right so if there's if they if they have a problem they're going to come into my they're going to call me immediately right as opposed to some of the other situations where we might not pick it up early enough <laughs>